Got something in his throat. Looks like a shad or something. All right, all right. So day two was a bust. Sorry, I got the sun in my eyes right now. Picked a terrible time to do this video. But okay, day two was an absolute bust. If I thought day one was difficult, I would say that was probably the hardest day of the entire summer. Um, all my little tricks, my uh, finesse techniques uh, were not working. And, you know, I wanted to get a, at least a few good bites to throw on the video, but um, it was just so damn tough that I kind of scrapped the fishing. I ended up scanning because I don't know the lake. That's my first time on that lake. So I did mark some very cool spots and learned the lake pretty well before I got off. 
So if nothing else, I got some valuable waypoints for when the bite is better. It's all about the long game. You know, it takes years to figure out all these lakes. But, uh, you know, by 2025, sorry, 2026, I'll have a dial. It is what it is. So, yes, I'm off to a very secluded lake in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually on gravel road here. Also, not helpful when recording this video. Sorry about the audio. But it's a very cool lake in the middle of nowhere and has some big largemouth for sure. It's whether or not I can connect to them today. Uh, if I have another terrible day, you know, this is a, uh, this road trip is pretty much a bust. So fingers crossed for that. I mean, at least the temps break 70 today. Maybe these fish get a little bit more fired up. Um, my fingers are crossed. Let's just hope this doesn't just screw up my whole weekend. Uh, just picked a bad weekend. There's a nasty front moving through. At least it's not windy today. So, all in all, I'm optimistic. But uh, let's we'll see how it goes. Let's we'll see how hard I got to work for these damn bites. No, my luck is pretty damn hard. So, we'll see. I'm almost there, and I will inevitably let you know. I suspected not a soul out here. Sure is pretty though. Well, if nothing else, it's a beautiful place. This isn't the big part of the lake, so it is it is a decent size lake. It's There we go. That is a very good sign. Very good sign. Very, very, very good sign. Hell yeah. Please just be 
a sign of how the day's going to go. Bam! There we go. After yesterday, that feels so good. So good. You know, just in case this is just a fluke catch, I'm going to get a dang picture. <laughs> if this is the only fish of the day, I'm just going to kill myself. And actually, this was in a little deeper water. Biggest fish of the day. Broke all the way up my leader on my braid. What the heck? Now I got them all riled up. I was just looking for that bigger bite. Now I got about 30 little ones below me. Hmm. Not huge, but a good fighter. Sheep. You need to get out of my way. Yeah. 
There we go. Somehow plucked off a bigger fish. Good stuff. Maybe I can do it again. It's not huge, but I bet that's over three. Yes, finally. The one I hooked into earlier or broke off on was definitely bigger. That was a shame. It was just way bigger. A little upsetting. But this takes the sting out a little bit. I was thinking I lost my only big bite of the day but this one is worthy mm, this could be another one. A nice fish. That's decent. big as the last but shoot this is the size I'm looking for mm-hmm no more dinks I'm getting hungry it's almost time to leave Now, Casey, you gotta wait and count to 10, and then you can see if a fish is on. And if a fish is on, it's gonna start pecking and you'll feel it, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now reel just a little bit and see if a fish is out there. 